One of the most ubiquitous pottery in New Mexico is actually Santa Clara pottery. Santa Clara pots are made just at the Pueblo, which is north of Santa Fe, around 35 miles. In fact, if you would go and visit Santa Clara Pueblo, you would find lots of potters. You'd find little homes you could go visit and buy pottery directly from the potters. Now, what I'd like to discuss is these early pieces like this. This is a big Oya that dates from right around the turn of the century. And these were made as early as 1800. These are somewhat difficult to identify compared to San Juan, which was also made at that time. What you would see in the San Juan vessels, they're also large, but they usually don't have a neck like this one. It's a shorter neck. And there is a demarcated line between black and kind of a gray slip. The slip is the covering of the pot that they make. Now you'll notice that all these are black, and blackware has been made in Santa Clara Pueblo for over 300 years. In fact, the earliest uh, stuff that we would see is the Capo Black, which was about in the 1700s, and actually even a little before that they were making small bowls that were black. To get the black, this is a smothered fire, or reduced, so there's less oxygenation, and the, that's where the black comes from in the firing. If you keep it hot and you have a very high oxygenated fire, you'll get the red. All the pieces you see on this table are early pieces. The earliest ones that were made that you would find for trade are the things like this. You would see candlesticks and wedding vases. These would be made for the trading posts. These would be also made for the railroad would show up and you could buy pieces directly from the Indians. You'll notice in this small pot, which is probably from the 20s, that it is carved. And that's one of the big difference between Santa Clara and San Ildefonso pottery is that the Santa Clara pottery is carved. Some of the things that you'll see on the Santa Clara pots are uh, bear paws, which are very typically seen in the Tafoya family pots. The earliest bear paws were seen on uh, jars, which are called water jars, which has a very small base. Then they have a double rainbow or rainbow, which is an inundated small rim around the uh, top of the, the pot, as well as sometimes they'll have little dots, which represent rain jobs. You'll see these type of pots even used in things like Curtis, who used these in his photographs. Very famous, these rainbow uh, water jars are highly collectible when you can find them. Now, in San Ildefonso, which is very close to Santa Clara, the black on black was invented by Maria and Julian. Julian invented this somewhere in the winter of about 1919 to the early 1920 time frame, right in that time frame. And that is where you have a black mate. Now, you will see this on Santa Clara Pueblo starting in the 20s and 30s when they would, Maria and Julian would exhibit at places like Indian Market. They were, the Santa Clarans would see it and they said, okay, let's see how you make that. And Maria and Julian were very good about sharing that information. So just because you have a painted black on black pot doesn't mean it has to be from San Alfonso. It can also be Santa Clara. But generally, Santa Clara pots are going to have carvings and they're going to be black and sometimes red. Other carvings that you might see in Santa Clara pots are things like, uh, uh, besides the bear pot, or Vanyu. And one of the best would have been Teresita and Ranjo. She made great carvings. There's a lot of living uh, families that still make great pot there. The Tafoya family, Margaret Tafoya, and also her kids, whether it's Lou Ann Tafoya or Melly Youngblood, who's passed, or Tony Roller, all their kids are making wonderful pots. The Youngbloods like Nancy and her brother Young, uh, uh, Nathan Youngblood and their kids as well. So it's a vibrant community that is still making pottery and some of the very best pottery is, is being made today. And you have people like Tammy Garcia who can get 100000 for a great pot. So when you think of Santa Clara pottery, don't just think of the uh, old material, which we love and dearly have, but there's also contemporary work as well.